amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. Welcome to Upside, where we have fun facts for curious minds. To enjoy more of these videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. With our busy lives, we have to admit that most of the things that we use on a daily basis help make our lives easier. However, we always take them for granted due to the fact that we know very little about those things. Some everyday items have uses that you probably don't even know about. And the funny thing is, once you realize what they were intended for, you will wonder what other items have secret uses. Be prepared to find out some amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. From seams and tape measuring machines to soda cans and your McFlurry spoons, there are tiny details in the design that may at first seem purely aesthetic, but they actually serve a very useful purpose. Sometimes, their purpose may even seem obvious, but in reality, the product's intended purpose is something you never thought of. Let me start off with number 10. Ever wondered what those holes in your converse are for? Well, wonder no more. Let me just give you a bit of an intro. As we all know, Converse was originally designed in the early 20th century for basketball players, and the shoes featured two extra holes on the side near the bottom that were identical to the shoelace holes. Many people have assumed that these extra holes are a unique design idea that just make Converse stand out from the crowd. Well, they do actually have a more practical purpose, and they have two. The first purpose is somewhat predictable. It is to provide ventilation to your feet. Since Converse were initially made for playing basketball, the holes allow air to get into the shoe and help stop your feet from getting sweaty. Now the second use is a lot more creative. Designed to allow you to get imaginative with your lacing techniques. Turns out we've been lacing them up wrong all this time. We should be zigzagging them across the whole width of our feet. What have we been doing, right? Don't worry. You can still correct yourself by watching YouTube video tutorials, but be warned, they're pretty complex, and despite giving it a go ourselves, we're still a little confused. At number 9, Colorful Toothpaste If you've ever used Aquafresh, then you're familiar with the red, white, and blue stripes in the toothpaste. In the 1970s, people were realizing that simply cleaning the mouth to keep it healthy wasn't enough. They needed something to freshen the breath too. Aquafresh provided a solution by adding in a blue stripe to their paste to tell everyone that it had the dual action of cleaning and freshening. Then, people started paying more attention to the health of their gums. And of course, the creative toothpaste brand has saved the day once again by adding a third red stripe to their product to indicate that their paste now has triple action, cleaning, freshening, and plaque control. So technically, each stripe has different ingredients and purposes. Well, to be honest, Aquafresh can create these added ingredients even without changing the colors. I'd say it is a clever marketing strategy. Another everyday object that is worthy to be part of our list is the little pocket in jeans. A lot of denim jeans come with a tiny extra pocket on the side known as the fifth pocket. And I know that millions of people have found thousands of different uses for it from tucking away a stick of lip balm to storing folded cash or coins. But this pocket was designed for a very specific purpose, the pocket watch. Hold up, I can hear a lot of reactions saying that no one uses a pocket watch anymore. I get you guys, and maybe that is also the reason why the fifth pocket is a lost art. Back in the 1800s, jeans were the pants of choice for gold miners, and one of the most important items they kept in them was their pocket watch, which was generally delicate and spendy. The little pocket was designed to protect their pricey pocket watch by keeping it safely tucked into place. At number 7, the tools on a tape measuring machine. The ultra-handy tape measures sold in hardware stores today seem to be pretty self-explanatory. I mean, given how it looks, a long, flexible band of tape with measurements pulls out from a roll and has a metal end that you can hold in place. Most people would be shocked to learn, though, that the metal tab has two other distinctly useful purposes. Let me give you two. The wide hole in the metal piece is designed to be just large enough to hook over a nail head, so you can hold the measure in place while you make your markings. Now, that is how you use it, huh? And to add more coolness, the same metal tab has a serrated edge on one side that you can use to gently press and mark a board where you want the end of your measurement to be. If you're like me, or should I say if you're just like most of the rest of the world, I'm pretty sure you were young. You wondered what on earth that tiny hole in your pen cap was meant for. And even now, when we bothered to notice the little opening in the cap, we still find ourselves distantly marveling what it is doing there. There's actually a much more thoughtful explanation aside from how other people are telling us. 
that it has something to do with some strange way to keep the ink flowing. By the way, the purpose of that hole is not for us to munch on the pen. That is not cool and not hygienic. Well, pen manufacturers did not forget the idea that small kids would likely end up with these choking hazards in their mouths one day. They simply took measures to prevent these kids from suffocating by placing a hole in the cap, so that if one were to get stuck in a little one's throat, they could still breathe air into their lungs. What a great creation, isn't it? We're halfway through our list. Don't forget to watch till the end, especially if you want to know the real reason why a delicate garment has a weird stitch. At number 5, Letter Arrangement on a Keyboard Another thing that I know we all wondered why keyboard letters are arranged the way they are. Wouldn't it make more sense to have them in alphabetical order? I tell ya, yes and no. The first keyboard invented belonged to the typewriter, which operated with mechanical metal arms. They actually tried it in alphabetical order, but typing that way came so naturally to typists that they would end up typing too fast and the key arms would get cross-wired and stuck. So for all the classes you took growing up to increase your typing speed, it might pain you to know that people were already fast and keyboard manufacturers had to randomize the order of keys to intentionally slow down typists to keep the machine running. At number 4, let us answer the question, why is there a hole on the top of a lollipop stick? Let us have another reminiscing moment as a kid. Do you remember your love of suckers and the excitement that came with it when you finally finished your candy and you tried to turn the plastic stick with a hole into a whistle? As it turns out, that is not the purpose of that hole. It sucks, right? Don't worry, knowing the real reason for that hole will leave you surprised. The reason the plastic lollipop stick has a small hole at the top is so that when the manufacturer pours the hot melted candy into the mold, some of it seeps into the hole and hardens to keep the candy on the stick instead of falling off. This wasn't necessary with the round paper lollipop sticks because the melted candy gripped it better. Now this next entry is for all the wine lovers out there. Ahem, <clears throat> and that includes me. I have also asked this question for the longest time. What is the purpose of the indentation at the bottom of a wine bottle? What is it for? Let me be honest, it has nothing to do with how pricey the wine is. No, it doesn't indicate the superior quality of the wine it holds. The indentation is called a punt and originally found its way to the wine bottle because back in the days, wines were hand blown and the seam of the bottle at the bottom was pushed up in order to prevent an outward nub at the bottom that would keep a bottle from balancing upright. Today, the punt is there more for tradition, though many wine lovers claim that the smaller space created by the punt helps collect sentiment at the bottom and keep it from flowing out with the wine. The punt still serves a purpose in champagne and carbonated beverages as it evenly distributes the pressure from the carbon dioxide. And coming in at second on our list, the McFlurry Spoon. If you suffer from a sweet tooth, then chances are you've had a McFlurry from McDonald's a time or two in your life. If so, you've noticed that the spoon that comes with your flurry has a square-shaped hole through the handle of the spoon that tappers to the bottom. Though it definitely makes a fun straw as your ice cream melts, its actual purpose is to serve as an attachment to the machine that whisks the ice cream and toppings together. The bar of the machine slips into the spoon and steers it the way a drill spins a screw. Then they give you the spoon with it, minimizing cleanup. Neat and sweet, right? And now for number one on our list, number one. Disclaimer, this is not a not safe for work material. This is a legit everyday use, especially for the ladies. Many men would be surprised to learn that not even most women know the specific purpose of the small pocket sewn into their undergarments. Although women have found them to be plenty useful for storing things like tampons or other small items of a private nature, this actually isn't why it's there. You're not actually supposed to store small stuff in this area. This small pocket is actually called a panty gazette and was never intended to be a pocket at all. Rather, it is an extra piece of fabric sewn in for women's hygiene, and in the higher-end panties, the gazette is sewn completely shut. The pocket is simply a result of manufacturers' unwillingness to spend the time and money to get those last few stitches in. And that's a wrap for our top 10 amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. I'm just curious, do you know any other amazing purpose hidden in everyday things? Why not share it in the comments down below? And for all you upsiders who want more upside videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch our video on interesting facts you're too lazy to Google. 
See you next time.